So, <laughs> my hair is blonde. Um, I am excited to fix it, I guess. Yesterday night, I got Ezra to dye my hair and it came out a little patchy, so that's okay. We're gonna do it again. I got another pack of bleach and some more developer. Um, I hope I don't fry my hair. That's the only that's the only thing I'm concerned about. But aside from that, yeah, ready for part two. So fun, so fun. I don't know if I want to bleach just the parts that are dark, like um, like my roots are a little more dark than the rest of my head, or if I should just bleach all of it and then let it sit and process, because it might turn out even more patchy if I do that, but it might not. So, I don't know, you live and you learn. We're just gonna, we're just gonna try it and then see how it goes. Um, okay, hello. Yes, I am back from eating chicken nuggets because, you know, sometimes you just can't function on an empty stomach when you're doing some very intensive work like we're about to do, so. This is gonna be fun, and also I got chicken nuggets to hustle my other shirt. Yeah, okay. I will check back with you after I finish this, so. <laughs> We're mixing in with the bleach. I try to wait for that to be funny on camera. We should just stop this vlog. But we can't because we're already doing it. I'm done. I took this um, mixing thing out of the trash can because last night when I was dyeing my hair um, so that it was less brassy, I just threw it in after I was done. Not knowing that I would have to do it again. Oh, it's strong. And I also think we got like a lot of the powder stuff stuck to the bottom of this cup, like the cup that we used yesterday, so it didn't really mix as well as it should have into the developer. I mean, I've watched enough Brad Mondo videos to know that if you don't mix it well into the developer, then like, you're just gonna have patchy head, and that's what I have right now, so um, congratulations on him for being right, you know? But anyways. Also, does everyone who thinks I'm crazy? Um, I don't know. Maybe. Maybe I am for doing this. Oh. I kind of ran out of bleach. We'll see what happens because some parts are covered, some aren't. But that's okay because I didn't cover the parts that were really blonde already because I didn't want to like over process those. I just covered the rest of it and then kind of just kind of made it mix together. Um, yeah, so I'm going to wait for another 10 minutes and then take a quick peek, look at it, see if it's okay, see if we need to like go back in and bleach it a third time, which I really hope doesn't happen because I'm scared my hair is going to fall off. Parts of my hair did not get bleached and then other parts did a lot, like right here where I redid the roots, you can tell that it's a lot lighter, Maybe I hope you can turn off because you scared me. Like this area is a lot lighter than right here, which is really awkward. Um, so yeah, I don't know. I think I might have to dye it darker again. Maybe like a funky color, purple, pink. It's also funny because like the bottom half of my hair um, is totally or completely darker than the top half, just because the roots ended up processing faster although like this oh my gosh oh my gosh it's so bad you guys like this whole area is just oh it's terrible it's so terrible <sighs> but i mean this is fun thanks for watching um if you like this video feel free to Give it a like and subscribe to our channel where we post random things that we do in life, like dye our hair um, blonde. Yeah, have a good day.
All right, y'all, here's the deal. I dyed my hair purple last week because of the fact that after I dyed it, I really didn't like the blonde, and I said, I said that I would dye it another color, but I did. We ran out of color halfway through, and so parts of it are brown, parts are not brown. My my roots are definitely very, very purple. Yeah, that's all I can say. I'm done. I'm just so done with it. This is not what was meant to happen. We're gonna come back from this though. Like I, I'm, I'm sure one day in the far, far future, we'll be like, oh, so we did that, yeah. And then, you know, learn from our mistakes, cause why not? And because the purple is already fading, like, you can barely see it in the front, and then in the back it's all brown again. I got more hair dye, so I'll just have fun with it. Okay, catch you after I finish dyeing my hair. Wow! It's done. My hair is purple and it worked. Finally, it took like four tries to dye my hair to a color that I actually like. But, I mean, it's it's not perfect. It's still great though. You can't really tell that there's any um, discoloration in my hair. Like, it, is that the word? I mean, you can't tell that it's really patchy. Um, except if you look really closely, closely. But the color is very vibrant and I'm really enjoying it. Um, yeah, I also got my eyebrows done. So this completes our total transformation of the summer. Thanks for watching this video. The only thing is I went to the hairdresser today to get my eyebrows done and she was like, oh, did you do your hair yourself? Like, it's patchy. But you know, it's quarantine. Brad Mondo, if you're watching this, be proud. I think I um, fixed my bad hair job. So, I hope you're impressed <laughs> more than the hairdresser that I went to. She was a bit rude, to be honest, but anyways, that's, that's another story. Um, yeah, this completes my hair journey. Have a great day, everybody.